In today's tutorial, we're learning how to create this big head effect in Canva in just a few minutes and really puts that focus on your subject of your design. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Elements tab and here look for a man with expression. It can be any portrait that you want, go to Photos, but if you have this nice expression, it will work extra well with the effect. So you can see there's quite a lot of nice selections. I'm going to go for this yellow one, drag it on the screen so it fills to the full slide. And I'm going to remove the background. Maybe first create a duplicate so we have the original one always on the slide. Edit image, background remover, and this removes the background. Wait a few seconds until it loads so it goes to a high quality image again. There we go. Now go to edit image again and magic eraser this time. Increase the brush size and we want to remove the entire body of the person here. So we're going to outline it shoulders etc and then for the finer work i suggest you reduce the brush size and zoom in a little bit so we can refine the edges around the beard and nicely trace everything from the beard it doesn't have to be perfect but the cleaner the cut the better your result will be especially here on the sides with the skin there we go and then retrace the extra parts voila that looks quite good you can hold control and scroll forwards or backwards to zoom in or out. Click on erase and then let the eraser do its work so that we have a separate layer of only the head. Then once it's done, you click on back and this has given you the head on a separate layer. I'm going to reduce the crop marks or put the crop marks inwards so we have an easy selection to work with. And then also here, give it a few seconds for it to load properly and come in high quality. Once that's done, you control C and go to the next slide. And here you paste the picture. So we have the head on a separate layer. Now hold the corners and the control or option key if you're working on a Mac. And then you can scale it from the center, which has this pretty cool effect. And you scale the head from the center. So it's quite convenient. And then increase it. You can make it as large as you want. I'm usually going for something which is a bit exaggerated, but not over the top. And now we have two layers. So we have the head layer and the background layer. And now let's add some text in between. But first I want to create a duplicate of the background layer and remove the background entirely. So this way we have a image of the person with the background removed, but we're going to crop it just above that finger. And we'll see in a second why we do that. And let's also do the sides. So we have that third layer. Position it in between the others. And now we're going to add some text. Title. Let's type the word big, increase it in size. Let's make it white. And also for the font, let's maybe go for something more condensed like Anton. This will look quite good. Hold control shift or option shift to create a copy. And then on the right, let's type in head and let's position them so that they overlap with the head. Go to position again and drag both texts below the head. So they kind of go underneath. You can play around with the size as long as they're underneath, oops, I think this one needs to be up here. So that extra layer with the finger has to be on top of the letter, of course. And then you can play with the positioning of the text. But if you've cropped it, you can easily select the text element. So that's why we did it. Maybe position it up just a little bit. And this one to the, I think this looks nice. And now let's preview on full screen. And this already looks like quite a nice design. Now, if you want that animation, we'll do that in a second. So we're going to open up this show pages and create a duplicate of our slide. For that, we're going to remove all the elements and just keep the original image in place. Place that before, we no longer need this one. Place that before the edited version, select transition in between, and let's see which one works nice. I think a circle wipe could work quite well, especially if we do like 1.5 seconds. And let's preview. And this is how you create this big head effect in Canva in just a few minutes. And it really puts that attention to the character on your design. And I think it's really nice and something different to show. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.